Hi, I'm Malia. And I'm Barry. And, and we're, we're the Royal Girls. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we're going to discuss all things business and ice cream. We're the owners of Roll Forever Ice Cream, which is a Thai inspired roll ice cream store and food truck in Nashville, Tennessee. So, the million dollar question that we always get is where did you get this crazy idea from? So, how we get started, Dee? So, we went on a spring break trip um, in 2016 in college to New York and tried I rolled ice cream there for the first time. Um, we went there. I had an itinerary. I love itinerary. So, it was one thing on the list to do. Um, and Malia is like a huge connoisseur of ice cream. So, it was like a must go. So she had sent me the process of rolled ice cream via Instagram. So we were watching videos before we went to New York and we're like, this is a must try. Like, we have to try this. We get to the place and the line is literally wrapped around the building. So we're like, okay, <laughs> the hype must be real. Yeah. So we had a bus to catch. Our bus left in an hour. So we were trying to figure out how we were going to try this new idea, but still make it on time to our bus ride so that we, we could, miss. yeah, we could, we didn't miss our bus. Typical Malia fashion, she got us through the door. Um, I had to tinkle. Yeah, so we were able to get up in line a little bit and try the ice cream. It was so cool, super unique. Um, we just thought this was like super cool. The ice cream was really, really good, and we were just like, wow, Nashville would thrive with something like this. Nashville had nothing like this at the time. Actually, nowhere in Tennessee had this. So we were like, this would be cool if we brought this back to our hometown. But at the time, like she said, we were both in college, so it just wasn't feasible. So fast forward. We graduated college. Um, we, well, my major was international business, and and my major was uh, biology. I worked in clinical research, and I worked in HR. So right out of college, we both went into our respective fields for a little bit, and was doing that for like a year and some change. Yeah, and like literally every day after work, we were always on the phone. We're besties, by the way. <laughs> we were always on the phone, just talking about life what's next we want more etc yeah so this whole like nine to five corporate life just wasn't what we saw for ourselves so we were brainstorming ideas of starting what's a business yeah. yeah what's next and barry was like you remember when we went to new york and we tried road ice cream like yeah she's like we should you know bring it here and do it at the time there was actually one rolled ice cream shop in nashville yeah um so we're like dang we're kind of behind the curve um and we like that could have been us basically yeah um so malia thought well her parents own a food truck so she was just like why don't we bring it to nashville on a food truck we would be the first food truck rolled ice cream food truck in tennessee and i was like wow that is like an awesome idea and my Everything just worked out. Like, my church had a bus for sale for $1,500. Still yes, deal. you heard it right. $1,500. So, we were like, we got to do this. She told her brother-in-law the idea, and he was like, if y'all are serious about this, I'll give you 1000 So, Barry and I only had to come out of pocket 250 each. So, we were just like... Yeah, it's a no brainer. Yes, we got it. Let's just do this. Even if we just buy a bus, we right. just buy a bus. So let's just do it. Parents, like she said, on a food truck. Shout out to Smoking Butts. Woo -woo. And so they were able to help us get started with the process. During that whole transition of getting a bus, turning into a food truck, all of that, um, her parents, Smoking Butts, they helped us through the whole journey. Um, they helped us kind of like cut corners that we would have had to do or long term without their help. Um, so it was a very kind of smooth transition. Yeah, it was, a sense. Like, it was like pretty fast too, in a sense. Like it was we, all like, started. We had our first meeting in January, January of 2018. 2018. We like, I think at that meeting, we literally met at a coffee shop yeah. and we, uh, named like our ice cream flavors. We kind of like thought about how we were going to design the bus. We, uh, brainstormed on names, logo, logo ideas. ideas, all that, like in one meeting. Yeah. And then we literally went home to my parents and we were like, showed it to what y'all think of this? Yep. And they were like, 
this is actually kind of good. Yeah. So that was in January. In March, we purchased the bus. Mm -hmm. And in June of 2018, we had our first food truck event. So we literally got started in like less than six less months. Than six months. Yeah, it was um, a pretty fast trajectory. And during that time, we were both working our corporate jobs. So we worked our corporate jobs for about a year and some change, and some change before we went full time. We went full time in when? Like, 2019. So 2019, April, April of 2019. Of 2019. And we've been, we've been rolling since. Rolling. Okay, period. <laughs> we've been rolling since. So um, in October of 2020, we opened a store in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, crazy, but we did it. We did it, yeah. It was hard, um, but we'll discuss that in a, another video. It's, you know, we've been rolling, yep. doing the food truck. And the store and full the store time full time. Got started when we were what? How old were we? Mm, so that's okay, yeah. <laughs> I think we've I was- We've been doing it for four years. We've been doing it for four years. So I was 22. And I was 20. Three. Yeah. Yeah. So now I am 26. I'm 27. And we are full time entrepreneurs. Yeah. So I think us missing our bus ride. Oh, yeah. So we actually missed the bus ride. I don't know if we mentioned that previously. But yeah. So in New York, when we were trying to roll ice cream for the first time, we actually did miss our bus back to our final destination. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that missing the bus ride was worth it. It was, because now we got our own bus. Pe oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bar. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is us. We're the Road Girls. And, you know, we're going to be on here talking, chatting about our lives as entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs. Um, so, yeah. Let us know what you guys would like to see. Tune in, subscribe, like, share, all that. <laughs>